What is up? What is up, YouTube? Um, I got a really simple, quick tutorial for you guys today. I just wanted to throw one out today, and I just figured I'd do one on this. Um, what I want to show you guys how to, uh, how to do today is use the um, this chest here, um, which is in the horror FPS kit, to open up, and uh, we can grab some item out of there. So what I want to do, uh, let me just reset this. Uh, I want to show you guys how to uh, bind a object inside this uh, chest here, so that when we open it, uh, we can uh, grab what's inside. So the first thing we want to do is with our chest, go to the top, and I'm just going to go over to the y-axis, and I'm just going to drag this up, um, just so I can see inside of it, because that's going to help a little bit. And for this tutorial, I'm just going to throw some keys in there. You guys can put whatever you want in there, but. Um, you know, keys are uh, usually what I put in chests, just uh, in my games. Uh, the main thing with, no matter what object you want to put in there, uh, just make sure that it has a rigid body and that is kinematic is checked. Um, you do not want to check gravity because if you do, the minute you pick this box up, and I'll actually show you guys really here, really quick here, what happens um, if you pick this box up with gravity. The key just kind of falls right through, so it's like not even there. Um, so we don't want that. So let's go back. Let's uncheck that. Check is kinematic. And now when we go back here, oh, <laughs> we have to bind the key to the uh, box first. So let's take our key and uh, let's just drag it onto the uh, old chest here, so that when we pick the uh, the chest up. Um, you can see that key goes with it. Yeah, there we go. So key's in there. Um, now, if I were to do this the other way with a uh, is gravity checked, the same thing would have happened. It just would have fell right through. Awesome, cool. So what we can do is we can actually go ahead and close this top, make it zero, and with the lock we can also change the numbers on the lock. So if we go to the number pad lock, um, on the uh, inspector we have a number pad lock script. And what we can do is we can actually change the code here. Uh, so if you want to change the code and make it 111, we can do that. Um, we can change the rotate speed, unlock wait time, um, things like that. Uh, change the sounds and things like that as well. Um, unlock events, obviously we just want to keep that how it is because we want the chest to unlock when, when the, uh, the correct uh, code is on there. Um, and keep the digit count at 3 because since this lock only has 3 numbers on it, right? You know, putting this to 4 wouldn't really do anything um, just because uh, you don't have 4 slots there as you can see so uh, keep that at three um, let me go back and I'm gonna show you guys run it through real quick so I did change my code to 111 so let's go there and uh, examine our lock here right click go one 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 as you can see it unlocks now we can rotate this open the top and our keys inside now we can take our key and put this back down and there we go Cool. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you use the uh, the um, locking chest in the horror FPS kit. Like I said, just super basic tutorial, super easy. I'm sure you guys could have probably figured that one out yourself. But uh, um, like I said, I just wanted to throw something out there for you guys today. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.